Friday, July 22nd, 2022, and this is the Washington Times front page. Thanks for joining us. I'm George Gerbo. The White House announced President Biden tested positive for COVID-19 and was experiencing mild symptoms from the disease. Jeff Mordock and Tom Howe report the president will be isolated in the White House residence for most of the next week. The president's doctor, Kevin O'Connor, said Biden has a runny nose, fatigue, and an occasional dry cough, but started treatment early. He's fully vaccinated and twice boosted against the disease. The 79-year-old is being treated with the antiviral drug Paxlovid, according to the White House. He'll work from the White House residence for five days and return to his regular schedule after he has a negative test. The Army will shift about $1 billion to recruiting programs and will rely more heavily on reserve units as its ranks dwindle and the service struggles to attract new soldiers. Then Wolfgang reports Army officials said the number of active duty soldiers is expected to drop considerably over the next several years. They said the branch's strength will be about 466,000 by the end of the fiscal year. It could drop to as low as 445,000 by the end of 2023, barring a significant positive change in the current recruiting environment. Army leaders acknowledged the scope of the problems and said it will take an all-hands-on-deck approach to turn the tide. With two months left in the fiscal year, the service is just 50% of the way to reaching its annual recruiting target. Britain's storied MI6 Foreign Intelligence Service has retooled its operations with a major focus on the threat posed by China. Bill Gertz reports from the Aspen Security Conference, where Agency Chief Richard Moore said there's a growing recognition in governments and Western publics about some of the threats posed by China to the U.S., Britain, and their allies. That has meant a reorientation of the British service's focus. MI6 is working to help policymakers deal with China from a position of strength while trying to get ahead of Chinese threats. Moore added that he doesn't believe the future conflict between the United States and China is inevitable and that differences between China and Taiwan should be settled peacefully. You can read all of these stories at WashingtonTimes.com slash front page. You can also find our entire lineup of news, commentary, and sports podcasts at WashingtonTimes.com slash podcasts. The nation's chief immigration judge is leaving his job after sources say he faced an increasingly strident Biden administration that cut him out of decisions as it pursued a more relaxed policy toward illegal immigrants. Tracy Short told colleagues in a note this week that he'll be leaving at the end of the month. In the note, obtained by our Stephen Dynan, he praised his colleagues for their resilience over years of challenges, including the COVID-19 pandemic and new demands placed on immigration judges. Sources familiar with Schwartz's decision said he was fed up with a political agenda that the Biden administration has imposed on the Executive Office for Immigration Review, the Justice Department agency that runs the immigration courts. And finally, a federal investigation into President Biden's son Hunter is reportedly reaching a critical stage as prosecutors weigh whether to bring charges. Tom Howell and Jeff Mordock report the Department of Justice is discussing the case with Delaware-based prosecutors and consulting guidelines around politically sensitive cases, according to CNN, which cited people familiar with the talks. Talks about charges have centered on potential tax violations and making a false statement regarding Hunter Biden's purchase of a firearm. He would have been prevented from doing so because of his struggles with drug addiction, according to the report. Find all of today's front page stories at WashingtonTimes.com slash front page or the Washington Times app. And find us wherever you get your podcasts. Just search Washington Times in your favorite podcast app. You can also find us on Twitter and Instagram at Wash Times for breaking news, sports, commentary, and more. For the Washington Times, I'm George Gerbo.